In today's video, I will use this photo of my friend to create the best photo manipulation that I can. But I will compete against the time. In the first round, I will have five minutes, the second round, 30 minutes, and third round, infinite amount of time to create the best possible photo for that time limit. So let's see how the time will affect our creation. Okay, so let's start the timer and let the fun begin. The only photo that I have in the, up in the front to work with is the photo of my friend right here that I took in the studio, and you can see me here in the corner holding the light. So I will use select subject. Hopefully Photoshop will do decent thing, not bad. Select other parts quickly because we have only five minutes for this. So let's see what we can do actually for nothing amount of time, basically. Let's say that this is okay, I will create a mask and let's see what we did it here. Oh, not so good. Quickly delete this. I will leave it like this. I don't have any more time for this. So let's add a background. Let's add a solid color layer. I will use some darker background, probably like this. Put it all the way down below. Okay, two minutes already passed. So let's use my custom made cloud dust brush and let's go all the way in the front and let's cover cover this with the smoke. So we will fake the selection here. Not fake the selection, but actually cover our our mistakes. The idea is to make it a little bit more interesting but with such a small amount of time what we can do let's let's add a little bit more colorful smoke here because of the lightsaber a little bit more blue here because of the back backlight and 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 we don't have much time left, but let's go and let's try to do a color grading. Let's do something with this. So I'll go a little bit towards the blue, a little bit contrast. I want to add a vignette like that. Right, we are missing a lot of details here. He's fighting, but we have no idea who he's fighting. Let's see if we have some time to find drone. And uh, we have a little bit more time. Let's add one drone like this. Download this. Okay, let's put it in here. I want to put the drone behind the model. There is a lot of... Yeah, I don't want this. Come on, we have a little bit more time. I need to delete the shadow because I didn't download it without the shadow. Why, Nemanja, why? Come on, save it, save it, save it. Right, we have one drone that want to attack him right there. Let's do another one right here and let's do a final color grading let's repeat the camera settings and let's see this is it five minutes guys ah, not so bad but not so good either there are a lot of things that i could add here a lot of lighting details etc but five minutes for five minutes the most time I spent is on the masking the model out of the background. Okay, now let's go on the 30 minutes mark. Let's get ready for the second round. This time we need to create much better artwork and we have 30 minutes time. So the timer starts now. All right, let's again do the same thing. Select the subject, but this time I will spend it a little bit more time perfect in the selection. So again, Photoshop will do the majority of uh, the beginning steps. Let's select our lightsaber. These are really great lights actually that I have here. The cool thing would be if we had the proper costume for the Sith. So this is Dark Jedi or Sith from Star Wars. We spent five minutes on this and I still didn't finish the selection. So we are done with the selection. We have it on a separate layer. I will call this model and let's bring the drones first and I will download a PSD file this time. Also, I want a version that is straightforward, maybe a little bit like that. Okay, let's bring our first PSD file in and let me show you. If I use only this layer here, that's it. It's only the model without the shadow, so I can hide this. I will put behind the model right here and this one will go up something here probably and make this one a little bit smaller, like it's more in the back, something like there. Let's fake this a little bit. I want to make impression that the drones surround him. Drones surrounded him, maybe this one a little bit more up. Mm, it's not happy perspective, but it is how it is. We have this one and we will copy and paste this one right in front of him. Maybe blur a few of these. So Gaussian blur, I want to blur this one. Not that much, but just a little bit. 
like that. Also this one too, I can just alt drag and drop to blur this one too. And uh, now I need to paint a light on the drum. And put it into linear dodge blending mode. And for this I will go with really red, dark red tone. Uh, I need to add some cast from lightsaber, maybe like more here. I want to make this one also red here, uh, but not from the back side. Back side is not for that. I will just fill a little bit here and there. Actually, no, I will not go too much over. I want dark tones here. And also the smoke here, I can add a layer mask and say, okay, I want to get rid of the smoke from this front one. Time is almost there, so let's add here another lightsaber glow. Yeah, I have another idea, I have a better idea. So this is not bad, but let's go all the way here and let's use the Oniric, it's amazing plugin for creating realistic glow, so come on Oniric, boot it up. Let's see the X-ray here, I like it. What I like to do, I like to add red color, so this looks much better. I will take this maybe, maybe gamma a little bit less. And this looks amazing before and after. I really like it. Let's merge everything into one layer, convert it to smart object. And now I will go to filter camera filter and uh, let's do a little bit here of color grading. We are almost done. Let's press OK. What I like to do is to create a new layer, clip it effect only that drone and um, I can either make him darker like this, but I don't want that. Yeah, like that. And bring back this, convert to smart object and just copy this back here. And uh, yeah, that's it. I can delete this. Do we have a little bit more time? Yes, we have a little bit more time maybe to add a title. So let's make this bigger and let's say, let's name it, I don't know, Star Wars. The last sit. I think I have it. If not, I will download one. Star, yeah, I have. Okay, this one or this one or this one. Really strange eye. Like, it's it looks like a K, guys. See? This is I. I'm pressing I. Really crazy. If I put K here instead of I, it would look like this. But I is like that. Really strange. If I change this for um, Star Wars regular, like this. <laughs> really, really strange. Why is this I? Ah, let's leave it like that. We don't have too much time to mess with this. So yeah, or maybe everything to put everything here. I'm not sure I like it here. So this is it. What we can do also is nothing. The time is uh, ended. So this is 30 minutes mark so for 30 minutes we did this not bad for 30 minutes but again it's a limited time and we cannot do as much as we wanted to but it's much better than five minute artwork here we are in the third round this one be the most fun because i have unlimited time and i will give my best to create even better and more interesting artwork and uh, with that difference that this time i will just use this already really nice extracted model that we did before i don't want to redo it there is no point because we have unlimited time and this time i will use blender to create my own model so i will start with the sphere okay let's rotate it like that and let's see i want to start by selecting few polygons here few faces And the drone is finally done. Materials are applied from the side, from the back. Okay, some details. I added some scratches here, as you can see, just for fun. It will not be visible in Photoshop that much, but I liked it, so I added it. Let's make several copies of this drone and let's rearrange it across the scene. In this way, we'll create similar result like in the 30 minutes version, but much better with uh, proper depth of field and uh, camera blur, etc. Really cool. I think I'm pretty happy with this, so let's 
add a few more elements here. Now that we made a scene in Blender, we just need to drag and drop in Photoshop and voila, I really like it, but there are a lot of things that we need to improve right here. Let's bring in the depth pass also that I rendered out. Let's start with the shadow. It's like that, bit of shadow, and now let's add the depth. Again, my custom made cloud dust smoke brush that you can get on my website. I will leave the link down there in the description in case you want it. Let's see, should we add a light now? Let's let's add that glow with Oniric. Alright, so I will go with hue and saturation adjustment layer here and I will desaturate um, only this layer here, okay? So like it's a white or I can add, I can add a blue tone like this. And then I can go with really soft brush. We can leave it like that. Nobody will notice this except uh, us. So let's make it a little bit wider like that. So I will leave it like that. I will not do it too much. I think this is pretty cool. I will now merge everything together, go to camera and let's play here a bit. So I want a little bit more blue. For the sake of this color grading, I just want to turn off this light because I cannot see properly color. So. Bear with me. And that's it. This is the final version. I really like it. It's much different than the first and second version. In my opinion, it's much better than the first and second version. So let me know your opinions down there in the comment section below. I really like to hear your opinion. See how huge difference it is between five minutes, 30 minutes and two and a half hours version time. Time definitely has a big role in our artwork. So invest more time in your artwork, make it better, add more details and enjoy the final result. Now, if you want to improve your photo manipulations even more, check out this video and learn some cool new techniques. See you soon.